Hello, I'm Ben Marshall. Some of you may know me as Bonsai Ben from radio and TV, but more of you may know me as an ardent supporter of Captain Shreve Gator Athletics. From 2001 to 2007, my children went here to Captain Shreve, and I enjoyed many athletic teams and their accomplishments. And I saw firsthand how teams can be built into winners, into district champions, and into state champions. Matter of fact, my son Ben played on the baseball and football teams, and I was closely involved and saw uh, how a team uh, can be turned in from an also ran into a championship team. And I see the same thing happening right here for the Captain Treve Lady Gators soccer program. Boy, 2010, 2011, what a change from the year before. Great things are beginning to happen for the Lady Gators, and the foundation is being laid for championship teams. They rose to the challenge, they're meeting those challenges, and they're looking to set a foundation for winning teams in many years to come. These ladies had a great year. Uh, it began right here at Lee Hedges Stadium, the home turf of the Captain Shreve Lady Gators soccer program. Let's take you inside and see what great things they did on the field this year. A lot of things changed for the Lady Gators between last season and this season, and it mainly began at the top. They got a new coach, Mark Matlock. Mark is a coach with the philosophy of whenever we take the field, we'll be mentally and physically prepared to win every game. From the first day he met with them in the spring of 2009, he challenged them to be mentally and physically ready to play at a higher level. Mark made his players work. You have to be prepared and ready to win. As the season progressed week by week, the Lady Gators' discipline and teamwork improved. Slowly but surely, Coach Matlock molded them into a team. Let's look at the results.
So who are the athletes that made these great things happen this past season? Let's take a look at the 2010-2011 Captain Tree Varsity Lady Gators. Number one, junior, Spencer Tyndall. Spencer started the season as the keeper, but due to injuries, was forced to the sidelines at the Gator Cup. She came back to play an integral part of a new defensive back line, which Coach Matlock put in place until Heather Dixon's job as keeper came open due to her breaking her wrist. So back into the goal she went, playing the last five games of the season with a broken right foot. Much is expected from her next year as both a leader and a player. Number two, senior, Vanessa Beza. All-state academic, Division I. As a three-year letterman, Vanessa was a true grinder. She could be counted on to give 110% whenever she took the field. And she always left it all on the field. Her take no prisoners attitude was often found right in the middle of the mix. Her intensity will be sorely missed. Number four, senior, Kendall Blunt. One of the primary utility players on the team, Kendall was always ready to play when needed. A two-year letterman, she could be counted on to play hard at whatever position she was asked to play. Her never give up playing philosophy was an asset whenever she took the field and will be missed next season. Number five, junior, Natalie Driscoll. Consistent, steady, always at the right place at the right time, described Nat's play on the field. These traits led their selection as an all-district defensive player this year. When the situation looked dire, Natalie seemed to come out of nowhere to save the play on so many occasions. A lot of leadership and an even greater contribution will be looked for her next year from this two-year letterman. Number six, senior, Mallory Machado. Mallory started the year with a couple of nagging injuries that took a while to heal. These did not keep her from coming out to support her teammates, even if it meant some long walks on crutches. Recognized by her optic yellow soccer shoes, Mallory was a gutsy competitor whose determination and work ethic are to be admired. Mallory's experience will be missed next season. Number seven, freshman Hannah Giddens. One of the two freshman starters, Hannah played with true determination and grit. Though hampered by illness and injury during the year, you could not tell it by her aggressive play. A lot is expected from Hannah in her future career as a Lady Gator, with big things being looked for this next season. Number eight, senior, Andrea Canizares. Always there to answer the call, Andrea played tough when called upon to enter the fray. Reliable and steady, two words that best describe this senior's contribution to the success of the Lady Gators this year. This steady veteran will be missed next season. Number nine, senior, Caitlin Fitzgerald, All-State Academic, Division I. This four-year letterman served as one of four senior captains this season. Fitz played with a lot of heart and always played smart, placing herself in the right place at the right time on numerous occasions. She led the team in header goals and coin tosses. Her steady, always composed demeanor will be sorely missed. Number 10, senior captain, Caitlin Abney. All-State Academic Division I, honorable mention All-District. Another four-year letterman, Caitlin finished second on the team in assists. Injured much of the first half of the season, she worked hard to get back into playing shape, showing a strong desire to make her senior year her best. Caitlin showed a tremendous amount of leadership, courage, and spirit to make the team the success it was. Oh, how things might have been had she been healthy all year. Number 11. Junior, Ashley Filardo. Ashley was making a strong contribution to the team before being taken out mid-season by a catastrophic knee injury. We're looking for her to return next season and picking up where she left off. Number 12, sophomore, Jessica Harris. This speedy defender is best described as a dependable and hard-working team player. JJ can always be relied upon to do her best. A first-year player, she played hard when called upon. We're looking forward to taking full advantage of her speed next year as we know she'll be ready. Number 13, sophomore, Caitlin Hedges. Promoted to varsity in midseason, Hedges made an immediate contribution to the team. Rock solid, tenacious, determined, best describes her field play, which was always a pleasure to watch. 
offensive opponents learned quickly that they were in her defensive zone by the welcome she applied. Big things are looked for from her next season. Number 14, freshman Tara Barnes. Another starting freshman, Tara played with concentrated aggression. Her play improved with every game, helping solidify the back defensive line. Not known to back down, a lot is looked for from Tara next season. Number 15, senior captain Emily Watson. Two-time all-district midfielder, four-year letterman, and second leading scorer and team leader with 21. Emily is the quintessential example of dogged determination and leadership by example. Her aggressiveness, mental and physical toughness were displayed every time she took the field. Emily made a major contribution every game. This fall, Emily will attend Rhodes College in Memphis, where she will no doubt be an integral part of her new team. Number 16, sophomore Reed Rogers, our Mississippi queen, if you know what I mean. Reed transferred to Shreve at the beginning of the season. She made a contribution to the team in many ways, two of which are most notable. First, she never gave up. Second, she was a total team player. Look for Reed to be an integral part of the team's improvement next season. Lest we forget, she was the most accessorized Lady Gator from head to toe. Number 17, junior Katie Garrett. A two-year letterman, Katie was ready to give her all every time she took the field. Always consistent in her manner of play, Katie was another of the Lady Gator utility players whose contribution could not go unnoticed. Her experience and senior leadership will be invaluable next year. Number 18, freshman Lauren Bennett. Another freshman, Lauren played with a lot of heart until a chronic knee injury ended her season prematurely. Currently in rehab, we look for Lauren to be ready to go next season at 110%. We will need her talents on the field. Work hard, Lauren. Work hard. Number 19, sophomore Heather Dixon, a versatile athletic player who never quits. When knocked down, even with a broken arm, she always got up. Heather stepped into the keeper role at the Gator Cup and performed admirably until a broken wrist forced her out of the goal. Not one to let a broken bone stop her, she patted her arm with a towel and electrical tape and took back to the field for the final few games. Look for a major contribution from Heather next season. Number 20, senior Cadence Lever, one of our four-year lettermen. Total dedication, high pain tolerance, never say never. These are just a few phrases that describe Cadence's on-the-field performance. The most dominant offensive scorer in the district, she was named district co-offensive MVP this year while leading the city in scoring. This marked her third year to make the all-district team. Along with her three other senior captains, Cadence's play set an example for others to follow. This fall, she will play collegiately at ULM. Number 22, sophomore Lori Lever. Second team all-district defender, a two-year letterman. Lori is a rock-solid defender on the back line. Lori made numerous stops of offensive opponents who thought they were going to take a shot on goal. Look for Lori to continue to perform at the same high level next season. Our seniors have departed. We have eight pairs of cleats to fill next season. Who will fill them? Will our returning players take up the challenge, step up, and claim a pair? Only time will tell. As we're honoring people this evening, let's not forget to thank and honor one very important group, parents and friends. Many times there's a thankless task, but they're always here. Uh, as the parent of a former Gator athlete and Gator students, I know how important it is
to be there to support your child, in this case, your daughter, in the Captain Shreve Gator Athletic Program. Now remember, whether on the field or on the bench, they know you're there and they appreciate your support. Thank you for coming this evening to honor your daughters and the great, great Gator program that is about to take off here in Shreveport and Bossier. It's been my pleasure to be with you. And remember, one more time, go Gators! on down to the Audubon Zoo and they all ask for you. They all ask for you. For who? Well, they even inquired about you. I went on down to the Audubon Zoo and they all ask for you. The monkey's ass, the tiger's ass, and the elephant ass me too. The tiger's ass and the elephant ass me.